Hey, it's Tara, and today I'm going to talk about Woman on the Edge of Time by Marge Piercy. Uh, this book is about a 37-year-old Chicana woman who is a product of her time and class. She's been mistreated by most of the men in her life and forced into a life of destitution, basically from a lack of options. After defending her niece from her abusive pimp-slash-lover, she's institutionalized for a second time and she has to deal again with um, further marginalization and helplessness. Shortly before this happens, though, she begins communicating with an emissary from 2137, and um, they stay in communication throughout her time in the mental institution. So the themes represented in Women on the Edge of Time are all heavy hitters. Um, gender roles, race, cultural appropriation, mental diseases, and caring for those who have them, drug use as recreation or escape, uh, the intricacies of childcare, what constitutes a family, and more and more and more. Uh, I pretty well admire Marge Piercy for kind of cramming all of these really important themes into this book and doing it fairly deftly, I thought. The main character, Connie, or Consuelo Ramos, uh, is not terribly likable. Her head is full of uh, gender, race, and class stereotypes, and I had a hard time deciding if some of her ideas were Piercy's ideals that I agreed with, or whether Connie sort of acted as a foil for um, Piercy's uh, future. Ultimately, I favor that latter theory with Connie acting as representative of uh, the popular opinion of American culture at that time. Something I definitely loved about this book was uh, the use of person and per as gender neutral pronoun and possessive. Um, I was talking with Sabrina at Stikachino about this usage and um, I think it's really interesting and kind of might be adoptable, but she thinks that person is maybe too long and people are lazy. I can sort of see that, but um, I actually really liked it because a lot of like the Z and Zer and Ziz and stuff like that, uh, it allows for uh, some of the arguments I've heard about it are like, oh well, Ziz is you know his with a Z on it, and Z is he with a Z on it, so you're really just perpetuating the whole masculine business. Um, so at least with person and per, like it's there's you can't have that argument there. So I kind of. Connie herself had a lot of issues not thinking in terms of gender, um, something that's definitely still an issue now, and I really appreciated Piercy's drawing attention to this um, difficulty of hers. Uh, unfortunately, not much has changed, though I guess we're working on it. So with all of those different themes um, basically just crammed into this sh sh kind of short book, um, and Connie's uh, representing you know the typical American view where it's you know difficult to identify difficult not to identify someone based on gender and, you know, various other things, all of the problems she had with the ideals of this future world, um, made the book a really uncomfortable read, but um, I also think it was really rewarding and it's, it's one that I absolutely want to reread maybe next year or maybe in 10 years when I'm a little older and more experienced and the world maybe hopefully has changed um, some more, so I will definitely reread this one in the future. Without spoiling, it's kind of hard to go into the details of other things that I liked about the book. Um, and there were so many points for contemplation. So if any of you have read this book, or if you do read it, I would love to talk to you about it, um, maybe on Goodreads or, I don't know, somewhere, because uh, I really like this book. Even though I only gave it four stars, but I think maybe I might bump it up on a second read, but um, I just thought... The four stars was just because of some grammatical issues I had, and the way the story was told was a little bit um, jerky, so most of that was for execution rather than the story itself. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you read it or if you have read it, I would love to talk to you about it. Uh, the ending of the story was abrupt, but um, still satisfying, uh, even though it sort of left it ambiguous as to whether Connie was... Um, as to whether Connie had invented this future uh, world as a way of escaping her current situation or whether it was really happening. I personally feel like it was really happening, but I do appreciate that sort of open feeling um, that the book ends on. So yes, Marge Piercy's uh, The Woman on the Edge of Time. If you're looking for some piece of work that is a kind of feminist, but not overly so, I think um, actually Connie herself is a weird sort of I don't know. She, her fe she is she is also a feminist of her own sort, but it's it's really complicated. But if you're looking for something that goes into the ideas of feminism and family and a million other things, I would highly recommend this book.
Yes, even if you don't like time travel, because I hate time travel, but it worked for this. So we'll go with that. Anyways, I hope you give it a try. And if you do, please let me know. And if you have, please let me know. But yeah, happy reading and until next time.